Hello and welcome to OI Films Presents Weekend Reviews. This is the offshoot videos we're doing, while well, that we can't do a full video podcast. I'm Cameron, and as always I'm joined by Jordy Steele, who's going to tell you all about the film we're reviewing this episode, which is Our Ladies. Based on the stage play Our Ladies of Perpetual Sucker, which itself is based on the novel The Sopranos by Alan Warner, who also wrote Morvan Caller, our Ladies is a coming-of-age comedy drama set in 1996 about a group of schoolgirls from a Catholic school in Fort William who are, our, who are part of a school choir, and while at a choir competition in Edinburgh, the girls set out on a mission for a day of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Hello, again. We'd like to report a theft. Of course, ladies. Now, were you the victims of a theft? Or is it something you've stolen? I thought you said he'd help. A man stole our school uniforms. Who was the man? Danny. And where did you meet Danny? A castle view sauna. Shell, that place is only for men. No way. I saw a few lassies in there. It's a brothel, you silly cows. It's directed by uh, Michael Caton Jones, who's known for directing films such as Scandal, Rob Roy, and 2019's After the Wedding. And it was adapted for film by Ben Sharp, who wrote Rob Roy for uh, Caton Jones. Um, this film is deliciously raunchy. Um, <laughs> it's it's like it's like Super Bad or American Pie, but from the female perspective, and it works perfectly it works very well um it's very much a coming of age um the the performances between all the girls are great each girl works in the group and they they bounce off each other and all their separate stories uh all fit into this one coming of age narrative and it's it's really nice it's, yeah it's really nice i think i, I like i like the dynamic then their dynamic the best my brain's gone too much i like the dynamic the best like it is just I think this is one of the best sort of coming of age films for just the, the sheer group, I guess. Do you know what I mean? I think this is like mm. one of the best kind of teen comedies. Um, they work best when people are playing off each other. And I think the amount of people that are in the group, it could go horribly wrong. But these girls just seem to work really well together and they just have such a... Like, you can tell they're having a great time filming it. So... Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 I, think it, I think it works really well in that respect. Yeah. They split up like uh, halfway through the film. But all their separate stories are very well balanced and it doesn't feel like you're spending too much time on, on, on one uh, group than another. Um, there's a, there's a thing I noticed that I think I noticed with just every sort of Scottish production. And it's this weird thing that I don't know if anyone else picks, picks up on it, but I also pick up on it when I see like, when I see Scottish theater, the times that I've seen like a <laughs> Scottish play, um, it's that it is probably so people who aren't Scottish can understand what's going on, but people enunciate like a lot. So yeah. people put emphasis on a way too much of the sentence and it doesn't, it never sounds natural to me, even though I don't doubt that these girls aren't Scottish, but <laughs> it, it just, it feels too, uh, 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 overacted for in some parts. I can I can understand that. I think that's a that's a that, like you said is an issue with all Scottish stuff because I I notice that sometimes when it's it's worse than American TV when there's a when there's a Scottish character on American TV and it's just the most over the top Scottish accent, but they also try and pronounce every single word in a way that doesn't sound mm. Scottish at all. So they're just yeah. doing this weird blend of like super clear but also Scottish just does not work at all. Yeah, it was also worse. There's a there's a scene in which they're at a sort of karaoke bar. Um, so obviously there's loads of noise. So that would require a lot of ADR. Um, and it is it, very apparent that they are being dubbed. And sometimes the 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 voices are not fitting uh, very well with with the energy of the scene. Um but overall, but apart from that, like uh, yeah. all the girls were great. Um, they're all believable. Really good, 
yeah, there's some really good character moments. I think some of, all the girls seem to have their own sort of demons they're fighting with, which is I think really cool. I think that the the um the, the kind of cancer stuff. I think um that's yeah that's uh, that's really well done. Um, the LGBT stuff, which is also kind of they're all all in a Catholic school, so of course that makes it much like ten times harder to be who you want to be in that situation, which I think is really uh, delicately handled as well. Um, I think I think they all I think it all just it has this nice blend of comedy and heart, which is uh, yeah no I just I, I it really blew me away how, how um, enjoyable this film was to watch. I think it was I think it's one of mm-hmm. probably the best Scottish films to, um, in a long time. I don't know how your Scottish film knowledge hump Scottish film knowledge is. Uh, I mean last year's um what were they called? What was it called? Boys I've completely Boys forgotten what wood. it was called. Boys, Boys in, the, in wood. the Wood. That was a fantastic film. Scottish film is is great and it needs <laughs> it needs more production. But um yeah this film is set in in 1996 uh, which was before either of us were born uh, yet it features a, a very modern Edinburgh Yes. Um, uh, uh, in the background, there's also just sequences of like montages throughout the city, um, and there's 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 many modern things um, like Harry Potter shops, uh, Pizza Hut. Uh, the buses are all very modern, um, and the bus stations, and you can see all the electric stuff. Um, but it doesn't. It doesn't rely too much on its '90s setting, which is nice. No, because it, it basically sets it. Um, it's it's set in this way um, to explain how all communication is like face to face, and when you don't see your friend, you have no idea what's going on with them. So mm-hmm. it was very clever, and it was very very smart, and it made sense for why they did it. Um, but yes. Uh, uh, I love seeing Edinburgh in film, and Edinburgh Edinburgh was almost like another main character uh, in this film, really, which is always so. fantastic to see. It's like a character in their story. It's yeah, it's like a third main character. <laughs> so that was a review of Arlie's. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Kanzo OG. If you want to tell us what you thought of the movie, you can leave a comment below on this Facebook page or on the YouTube channel, or you can tweet us at Ohio Films. Uh, Jordy is at Real Jordy Steel. And we also have our reviews for, uh, what was the other one? No, that's completely forgotten. What? Oh, sorry. Candyman. Candyman. I don't say don't it too say, many times. Don't really. say don't it again. Say times. Uh, yeah, we've got reviews for, and maybe Vacation Friends. So we'll see you when we see you. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>